fost șef al CDC. Prezintă o părere non-standard, non-mainstream despre platforma MRN și despre efectele adverse ale vaccinurilor construite pe platformă MRN. Eu nu știu dacă din punct de vedere științific, medical, ce spune omul ăsta este adevărat sau nu. Sunt obligat să spun chestia asta în video. Știm că trebuie să ne informăm doar din surse oficiale, dar sunt dispus să ofer acest video pentru cei care doresc un punct de vedere alternativ surselor oficiale. I think the uh, mRNA technology uh, will no longer be used for preventive vaccines within a couple of years. Uh, I do think the mRNA technology will be used for treating serious disease, like you mentioned, cancer. Sure. Uh, sure. I think the the reality is when we give an mRNA to a healthy individual, uh, we don't. And in the case of COVID. Uh, we we co-opt the body to make spike protein, which is an immunotoxic protein. We have no idea how much you're going to make. We don't know how long you're going to make it. These are things that I think the FDA should have been much more aggressive in having defined. Maybe, you know, I was part of Warp Speed's board. Maybe when we were losing 3,000 people a day, you know, there was an emergency we were trying to respond to. And, and these vaccines, in my view, do change mortality and morbidity for highly vulnerable individuals. But But they don't have a benefit, in my view, for people who aren't highly vulnerable. So therefore, people under the age of 50, children, they really probably never should have been pushed in that direction. This is part of government overreach. Tony had a, a sort of a blind belief that these vaccines could only be good. And he didn't see the downside. You're in practice. I'm in practice. I, you know, a significant percentage of my practice, maybe five to 10% of it now is vaccine injury from the mRNA vaccines. And those injuries are very real and they, they, they're really problematic. So I do agree with you. Uh, it's about a risk benefit ratio and for a preventive, uh, vac, uh, uh in initiative. I think the the favor is not in this new technology. For someone that has a very serious cancer, it probably is in in, in this technology. But Tony was yeah. very embedded in the mRNA technology. I mean, as you know, NIH was very involved in in, in it uh, with Moderna, and uh, and uh, and it did lead to certain statements that he made, which I felt were unfortunate, where he told the American public, "If you disagree with me, you disagree with science." And my argument to him. Tony, I don't disagree with science. I disagree with you. <laughs> Repet, informați-vă doar din surse oficiale. Sigur și eficient. Fost șef CDC. Ați reținut, da?